Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody. I have a actually a pretty quick layout here for you today. I already had my photos kind of laid out and figured out where I wanted to put them because I had a difficult time picking my background paper. So I went ahead and just sorted through all the papers off camera because it took me quite a while. Sometimes I like to do that um, at night when I'm not necessarily recording, but just to kind of prepare for the next day or for the next time I have more than five minutes. Um, and so I did the same thing. I took the alphas off of my um, alpha sheet to go ahead and figure out where what I wanted the title to be. So I have my title as Little Monster. Um, these green ones are some foam, and then the white ones are... Um, no, they're they're just stickers and I realized as I was cutting this paper that um, it was not an exact 12 by 12 so I end up having to piece a bit of this together and then you're going to see in a moment where I really kind of screw up a bit because I never cut off the border strip off the back side of this pink striped paper so it's like 12 and a half by 12 at this moment and I'll figure that out right here when I flip it over <laughs> And I'm like, okay, well that first of all kind of explains part of the problem. Um, and then it also kind of solves me having to do the piecing together on the other part. There we go. And so um, then I'm just going to trim off the um, rest of the other side of that green kind of cross hatch looking pattern. Um, so I know I've been doing a lot of pink in my layouts here recently and it's because I had that as part of my stash kit and I really like the way um, the bright pink pops against some of the darker colors. I mean the darker photos because sometimes I end up having a lot of dark photos especially at this point in time. These are from 2013. I didn't have the best um, camera on my phone at the time and our other camera um, had kind of broken it, it's having an issue focusing so um, or actually snapping the picture the shutter keeps getting stuck so we've had a couple people look at it it's been kind of fiddled with and anyways hopefully that'll be fixed soon but my point is that a lot of my photos from this time are kind of dark so I'm trying to pair up some brighter background papers just so they look nice. Um, it kind of contrasts it instead of it being all dark throughout the whole album. And then I'm using this lime and white paper as borders and you could see I did a um, scallop. Um, I used some scissors and did a scallop border at the bottom and then I'm going to use like the reverse scallop at the top in a little bit. I use these little tile stickers and I'm writing out birthday fun and I have this last little birthday st present sticker um, and it's going to move it's not going to stay up there but I had all these little monster brads which I just thought were the cutest I got them last year at the scrapbook expo I went to oh and yeah there's a whole fiasco I didn't get to go this year because they canceled it and I guess apparently they canceled a while ago but I was not up on the news and so I didn't get to there was no scrapbook expo in Charlotte this year like there normally is but I'll go into that in my haul video so I had these little monster brads from from last year's scrapbook expo or maybe it was two years ago um, and I, I just think they're so cute I bought them because obviously I have a boy and half the time I'm calling him a monster so I just thought they'd be really cute and they were kind of fitting with the um, blue um, helmet and jersey he has on so let me tell you the story behind this this thing so this is his part of his birthday present for his third birthday in 2013 he turned three in December um, and at Target, they had, I mean, we're in Raleigh, North Carolina. There's a lot of colleges around here, um, each with the sports team, of course. Um, and I went to NC State for college, and my husband has always been a Carolina fan, and they are rivals. I mean, we even have all these, you know, the chants that you say during um, games and stuff um, about each other. So we have all these things that, you know, we're kind of fans of rival teams, I guess you could say. So we would go into Target, and Target carries a lot of the local sports teams, um, different things. You can buy outfits, or right here, this is a, a helmet and a jersey for kids. And um, we always, I always try to get them to like um, NC State, and my husband always tries to get them to like Carolina. Well, 
my husband went out and his favorite was Carolina. And so every time we would go into Target, he would want to go play with the, the helmet and the jersey. So um, we ended up getting on one for his birthday. And um, my journaling says this boy would sleep in his new Carolina helmet and jersey if we'd let him. Um, this may have been his favorite gift yet. Even though it is still slightly too big for him, his hair keeps the helmet from falling over his eyes. So anytime he would wear it, he would have to put his hair in a ponytail because it was the only way to kind of keep the helmet from just flopping around because it was obviously way too big for him. I think it was like for a four or five year old and he was just turning three. So his head was just too small for it and it just kind of fell over his eyes. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to document it. I thought it was cute because this was something that he wore every single day for months, months, months. <laughs> And here's where I'm using um, kind of the reverse scallop. And it was just too thick of a border, so I pull it off and I'm going to trim off the excess. Now, I like this pink and kind of red striped paper because it's not too terribly girly. I mean, obviously it's pink, but it has the red in it. And I really like the um, bright lime color as the um, kind of offsetting color and it matches with my foam stickers that say monster and the little foam hearts. Now I thought the gift looked too bulky above that photo so I'm putting it at the bottom at the end of the journaling and then I'm also moving over my tile stickers that say birthday fun and um, I ended up messing up the, the Y so I um, just cut another one, trim down another one. The stickers on this sticker sheet, I got, I think I have three or four of the same, st same sticker sheet because they were on clearance and I really liked the alphas and the borders. Um, but they're not cut exactly straight, so sometimes you have to trim them a little bit. And I added a little date sticker and then a little flag on top of it because I didn't like the way that the date turned out. So I um, just write December 2nd. So the date part, the pink thing that says date sticks out, and then I actually wrote December 2nd. And then I'm creating a flag under kind of each of the very small embellishment clusters I have. I don't really have large embellishment clusters on this layout. I just have some small little bits here and there. And I've got pops of pink, blue, and lime green kind of popping out everywhere. And then a few little bits of yellow with the tile stickers and then the present. And um, I'm just adding a few small details here and there. I didn't want to make it too busy because I have four photos. Four photos is a lot on a scrapbook layout, um, especially when I kind of like the, the minimal, minimalist look. So I wanted to um, kind of minimize the amount of bulk and um, busyness I add to this. I'm going to add these white enamel dots, and that's pretty much going to finish up our layout here. Um, please like this video if you, or give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I tend to post about three times a week, um, so please subscribe so you can get the updates. And again, um, thanks for watching and joining me today for this scrapbook layout. I hope you have a great day. Bye!